This week in the Senate, uh, we're rolling out the Senate budget, and there's a couple firsts to this budget. One, it's the first time in five years that we haven't faced a deficit when it comes to the supplemental budget. Uh, the other first, and I think this is really important as far as to continue our efforts in transparency, is it's the first time that the public's actually had over 24 hours once the public has been, once the budget has been rolled out to actually read the budget. Uh, not a real novel idea, but not something that's done here in Olympia too often. Uh, really what's happened in the past is the budget rolls out, we hear it, we vote it out, and there's very little time for the public actually to come down to Olympia and give us feedback. We wanted to change that dynamic because we really do think it's important that the public gets involved in this process. You have to remember that in a supplemental budget, a lot of times in Olympia, it, people think of it as a second bite at the apple. And what we're really trying to do with this budget is be a little more uh, fiscally constrained and fiscally disciplined. Uh, if you look at all the programs that are, that are out there, there's a lot of great programs out there, but if we're gonna continue to prioritize education, we really do need to make sure that we don't create some of these what we call bow wave effects. A lot of times what happens in a supplemental budget is people will say, well, it's only going to cost you $5 million. Well, that's just for a six-month period, six months at the end of this biennia. But you have to remember that in the next biennia, that means that that's a $20 million program. You can only do that so many times with non-educational programs, and pretty soon you don't have the dollars that you need to move the economy forward and really put those investments that we keep saying we want to do for our kids and for our education system. In the Senate, we, we had really three priorities when it came to the budget. One, we wanted to make sure that it was fiscally responsible. We wanted to continue our efforts in prioritizing education. And then we wanted to make sure that we're doing everything we can to encourage job growth. And I think this budget really finds that balance. If you look at where we're at versus where the governor was at in his supplemental budget, we spend about one third what he does. Uh, the governor in the, his budget spent over a billion dollars over a three-year period. Now, as much as they like to talk about that education is their top priority, only 17% of those dollars went to education. Now, con contrast that with the Senate budget, 78% uh, of our dollars from the supplemental budget go directly to education. To me, that's the kind of focus that's walking your talk that we need in Olympia. There's a lot of great things in there as far as both from a K through 12 and a higher education standpoint. Um, we've had great luck with our opportunity scholarships which uh, focus on high demand uh, fields in colleges. And then we also have the uh, College Bound Scholarship which has been phenomenal helping our kids graduate for college, giving them hope. So there's a lot that we can do but again, we want to make sure that this is a disciplined effort and we'll continue to work with that in the Senate.